tender. You know, this is where it really does all go wrong. And it's not your fault. It, it, it's a two-way relationship. And there's very much things where we know you're not in power, certainly if we look at the, the end user or the operational team perhaps not providing you the information you need. But we had a tender recently, uh, a couple of years back to be fair, where you know, the, um, the tender document was wonderful, asked all the right questions. It described the company very, very well. We met the buy team, absolutely wonderful group of people, very articulate, asked the right questions, very engaging, very much like yourselves, great bunch of people. We won the tender, woo, fantastic, that was great. That night we all got drunk and celebrated, woke up the next morning with an absolute killer hangover and then suddenly thought, uh-oh, how are we actually going to service this tender for the price we've promised? But anyway, look, we got through that and we moved on and uh, we packed all our gear up and we headed for our first day of the contract. And it was like Jekyll and Hyde. I cannot tell you how different the two sides were. It was just scary. And we suddenly realised that the buy team sitting on the 33rd floor of the building had no real relationship with the operational team, the end users. I mean, these guys were absolutely feral. And there was a total disconnect. There was no connection between them whatsoever and certainly no simile in what they're about. And I'm just imploring to you, if you're tender, when you're going out to tender, make sure that your documentation truly reflects the type of organisation that we're going to be dealing with. If the ops team, if they use a big stick, tell us because it really helps at the beginning, gives us an opportunity to perhaps look at it and say, hey, this is not for us, I don't like getting beaten up too much. Another one is the, the misalignment between the request and what's needed. And this, more often than not, is when you haven't been given enough information from the end users. And certainly in service contracts this happens a, a bit. But, you know, if you're looking for ice cream, ask for ice cream. If you're looking for ice, ask for ice. If you want cold stuff and you're not sure what it is, go back to the pre-relationship stage Get, people, get us all in, we'll look at it with you. you know, suppliers love the sound of their own voices. They will work with you and they'll do a lot of work for nothing to help you solve problems before you get to that tender stage. Another absolute disaster that occurs for us, and we're talking about suppliers for our suppliers, is when you've had to extract a contractor for a maybe bad performance or whatever it is. You need to tell us this in the, before the tender. Because we, we don't want to work, roll up on the first day after winning a new tender thinking everything's great and wondering why we're in the Spanish Inquisition. And this happens a lot. So if you're inf informative about this in the pre-relationship stage, again, you're going to get the benefit of suppliers coming along and solving your problems for you by actually talking to you about what's gone wrong, maybe looking at what could have been done better before you even go to tender. And you're going to get this for nothing. And the great thing is when you have that contractor roll up for the first day. They know that they've got to lift high to make it look good. They know what they're going to be wearing and they're also going to know that they're dealing with some damaged people who have you know, been putting up with maybe really, really poor service before. It allows them to prepare for it and be in a better space. Another, another one is telling us how to do the job rather than telling us what the outcome is you're looking for. If you want bolts, 6 mil bolt, Rockwell hardness of 6 points, whatever it is, you know, tell us that. 75 millimetres with a shank of 50 millimetres, etc, etc. Don't tell us to take a 10 mil piece of mild steel, stretch it out to 6 millimetres, heat and quench it to 200 degrees, you know, down to 15 degrees, 27 times or anything like that. We know how to do these things. And more often than not, you're going to find the supplier that's talking to you knows how to do the job better than you do anyway. I mean, and if you know best, then perhaps you guys should be doing it. Why are you outsourcing it? So certainly the outcomes are very, very important here. And lastly,